So hi everyone. The Deep Seek team after Deep Seek V3 has released a new set of models that is Deep Seek R1 and Deep Seek R10 which has outperformed OpenAI O1. Yes, you are hearing it right. It has outperformed OpenAI O1 on multiple benchmarks on reasoning and as a matter of fact the model is entirely open source so you have a OpenAI O1 sort of a model for free in your hands now. So looking at the benchmarking numbers as you can see on AIME as you can see the model has outperformed OpenAI O1 by a minor margin 79.8 and 79.2 on code forces the results are almost similar 96.3 96.6 on case of GPQA Diamond, I think OpenAI Oven is having a decent lead. But in case of Math 500, the model has outperformed by a decent margin. Similarly, on MMLU, as you can see, 90.8, 91.8. And on SWE Benchmark, the model has outperformed Oven here as well. So the model has outperformed on SWE, Math 500, AIME. So the model is looking crazy and as it is open source as well, it's real time. We start using these models for reasoning purposes. Now let's shift our focus towards some details of the models and its distilled uh, models that has been released as well. So I think now we can very easily say that DeepSeek R1 is the best open source reasoning model that is present now. The team has released two models together that is DeepSeek R1 and DeepSeek R10. So let's first of all understand the difference between the two. These are two different model series released. Talking about the model specification, both R1 and R10 has 671 billion parameters. It's huge. And the context length is 128K, not uh, as huge as if you have heard of Minimax Text 01 that has been released. And they have been trained on DeepSeek V3 base. So remember this. Apart from this, they have open sourced about 8 models. DeepSeek R10, DeepSeek R1, 6 distilled models. So basically, child models you can say so that people can run it in their local systems and that are open source and hugging face as well now talking about the training approach used for deep seek r10 and deep seek r1 there is the point where the difference between the two models lies in so deep seek r10 is trained purely using reinforcement learning no sort of supervised fine tuning is involved it is relying heavily on reinforcement learning completely and it emerges with self-reflection, long chain of thoughts, etc. reasoning behavior. So the reasoning behavior has been incorporated using reinforcement learning this time. You might be hearing that there is a method called as RLHF, but it's not purely reinforcement learning that is getting used. Now in case of DeepSeek R1, the better model as the team is saying, they have first fine-tuned the supervised fine-tuned the model that is SFT and then use reinforcement learning. And then it has been able to cover some of the challenges faced by the DeepSeek R1 model. So the DeepSeek R1 zero model had some issues like endless repetition in reasoning, poor readability, language mixing, but not DeepSeek R1, the better model that the team has released. It has been, it includes two SFT trained stages, supervised fine tuning stages for reasoning and non-reasoning capabilities. We are not jumping much into this because for this, I will be reading the paper and then coming back again. Now talking about the distillation part, the team has also released smaller models so that people can use it. And these are distilled version of DeepSeek R1. What are the different versions released? 1.5B, 7B, 14B and 32B from Quen series and over Llama 8B and 70B. So now they are using both Quen that is from Alibaba and Llama series for generating the distilled versions. Distilled models, as you can see, Quen 32B has outperformed O1 Mini. So this is a big news. Talking about the reason research impact, they are trying to validate that the potential of RL only training for reasoning capabilities. So they are trying to uh, make a point for usage of just reinforcement learning for re generating reasoning capabilities within the models that we have got. Talking about the benchmarks, I think we have already discussed that. If you have any uh, doubt about any of the benchmarks that we have discussed, you don't know what is IA, AIME or Code Forces, GPQ or Math 500, MMLU, SWE benchmark. You can just read these definitions. I think we have repeated this uh, quite a few times in the past. So let's skip this part. Already mentioned that these are the points on which DeepSeek R1 has outperformed O1 also. So some of the benchmarks was AIME. SW that is a software development benchmark, 
on math 500 also the model has outperformed and on most of the benchmark it is almost similar now how to use deepseek r1 for free so there are two methods if you wish to use the distilled models you can just go to hugging face and search for deepseek r1 distilled and you will get ver various versions so let me show you that you can see multiple versions coming here deepseek r1 distilled deepseek r1 llama 70b quen 1.5 quen 7b even DeepSeek R10 and DeepSeek R1 is also present, but I think you won't be able to run these models locally. So that is why the team has released a few fewer uh, free versions, few smaller versions. Now, even in their chat, the DeepSeek official chat, you can use these models very easily. So let me show you that as well before we wrap it up. So to chat with the model, you just need to go to DeepSeek.com and click on start now. Once you click here, you just need to hover over DeepSeek think as you can see it says that you can use deep seek r1 so click on this and then type in your message how to tackle global warming and as you can see now the model has started thinking the thought process is looking visible here if you don't want to read you can skip that part you can stop the drop down and you will finally get an answer straight away but the model is looking good as you can see you have got the final answer the model thought for 14 seconds so it's almost very similar to open ai over model uh, the same ui looks to be very similar and the reasoning is also looking similar looks good the model given the benchmarks is looking great and it's worth trying out given the model is free to use as well so now you have a model as strong as open AI over in your hands try out different things and let's build ai together thank you so much